FUMC, we believe that we are called by Jesus not only to love and serve, but also to stand in solidarity with our neighbor in need and to offer whatever support we can in a holistic approach. This means that we tackle food insecurity, we tackle housing, we will even stand up against oppression by protesting. And then we have all our international missions as well. But the other part of the statement, love your neighbor, is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amy, what do you, what do you think about that? Hi, Shona. Uh, I think that during the pandemic, it's really important for us to admit that we need to take care of ourselves, too. We've all been uprooted from routine and dealing with a lot of different fears this year. So here's a, a little bit of advice that I find helpful um, that helps me care for myself get outside and walk in the woods, um, bundle up and go looking for beauty that has nothing um, to do with what you've done, but just uh, the beauty of the earth. Um, that gives me space to breathe and um, take in the beauty. Uh, remind yourself of something that you do well. I think we're constantly uh, hearing about things that are hard to solve or, um, we need to remind ourselves there are some things that we can take care of or we can do well. It can be as simple as a, a mini crossword puzzle that you can finish in five minutes so that you realize not everything is a huge complex problem. Um, don't let uh, the voice of your inner critic drown out the things that you do well. Um, and then resist the urge to constantly feed new information to your brain give yourself some space for quiet uh, to let your soul catch up. Um, that's so important. Sometimes we need, instead of news, we need an inspiring story to uh, remind us there are other people who've overcome obstacles larger than ours and ours don't seem so daunting um, when we hear about those. So there's a few ideas. Um, for you. Um, I'm really glad at FUMC we try to balance this uh, working to make the world a better place, but also recognizing as individuals and in small groups, we can uh, do the inner work to try to make us more whole as well. And then we also need to keep in mind that our neighbor could be our church, fellow church member, and we have so many ways that we were able to love our church neighbors as we love ourselves. Be sure to visit the website to see that. And we look forward to journeying with you all through this new sermon series, Love Your Neighbor. Thank you, Amy. Yes, good to be with you. Bye-bye.